Oh my god, you're kidding me! This man Petrogus turned into a living spider. Come on, man. Alright, what's up everybody? Here we are for the season finale of season 1 of ReZero. This is episode 25 and it's called That Is All This Story Is About. Very interesting title. I wonder what is it all about, right? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, we're gearing up here for what's looking to be a slightly longer episode, I see, because it says 27 minutes, whereas usually it's 24 minutes. I've noticed about ReZero compared to other anime already that like episodes are slightly longer because ReZero doesn't tend to actually use... Um, uh, well, it tends to use a lot of the sort of runtime, the final minutes, which usually would be used for like a, an ending part or whatever. Uh, ReZero, a lot of the times, like actually makes the story just go on until the very end. Um, so episodes are already slightly longer, like I said, and now this one is going to be even longer than that. So it's going to be quite a finale, of course, for basically yeah, going up against Petal Goose, hopefully one last time. I'm going to guess that Petal Goose will, in fact, be dealt with because he's clearly not the main threat in the end. That's going to be the witch. But Petal Goose did reveal a lot of super fascinating information about the witch in the last episode. For example, that they plan to use Amelia as a vessel to bring her back or something, I guess. I'm guessing that the witch herself right now doesn't actually have a physical presence. And it makes a lot of sense. I mean, maybe... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the witch... Could the witch actually literally be inside of, of Subaru or something? Is that why he has the fear of like any time he talks that, that her hands literally touch his heart or whatever, right? Um, is Subaru carrying her with him? Right? And like the whole reason why he or why the witch picked him. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like I keep speculating about these things, but like maybe there's a particular reason why Subaru was brought back into this world for that particular uh, purpose or brought back, just brought into this world in the first place. But why him? Why not some other random person in the, in the real world? Um, and simultaneously, is Subaru's infatuation with Amelia actually kind of caused because the witch could be like inside of him and the witch just wants to use Amelia as that vessel that Subaru is basically being used as a means to to get to Amelia that way right um that would suck to see but I can definitely see that sort of being the case Subaru himself also is of course teased constantly to be this this other archbishop then that's going to serve sort of as a right hand man for the for the witch uh, you know being being pride himself I guess right so fascinating stuff but i don't know if we're gonna get it revealed to us anytime soon like in this episode or if we're gonna have to simply wait until season two um yeah i think honestly we can just dive into the episode as quickly as possible i'm excited to see how it's all gonna play out i do of course still have a couple of questions in my mind especially like how does the whole save point system work um because last time around we saw once again subaru managed to actually respawn um uh basically in a moment right after taking out the the white whale what is that about like why did that end up being a save point we never quite came to find out like why the mansion and then the guy selling the appas why those those points always served at as these uh these these checkpoints in the first place right so what is that about i feel like there might be some logic there that i could be able to figure out if i think it through a little bit more I'm going to try and do that after I uh, finish the first season here. And then maybe by season two, I'll have some theories about this. Unless it actually gets revealed to us. That's a possibility, I guess, right? But I feel like this season finale is probably going to leave a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot of those questions that I just touched upon still unresolved. Which I would be completely cool with, of course. But uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, I think we can just get into the episode at hand and see how season one is going to, uh, well, leave us, I guess. Of course, I'll be able to continue from it straight away after I do finish it. So uh, the next 16 episodes will, of course, already be available over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we're going to be well on the way with the second season already. So go and check out all those reactions straight away. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. And then with that being said, let's dive into the season one finale of ReZero. <laughs> Interesting. Amelia's not coming along? I guess... Yeah, they don't want her to be there for it. But why, though? Your eyes look just like his? 
Subaru? I'm not sure if I follow with that. Like, was, was Wilhelm instructed about any of this? Are they just bringing Amelia to safety because Subaru asked for it? Does Subaru know? Like, did he know at that point already that, like, they want to use Amelia as a vessel? I don't think so, though. God, we keep seeing the eyes. Now, nah, that's that's purposeful, though. Oh, well, oh, well, it's because Julius is using his senses. Man. He's good, though, although he does let himself get hit a couple times. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Just go and strike him, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I think you're just kind of a useless idiot, though. Or a useful idiot, rather. <laughs> well, useless. <laughs> In the end, you'll prove useless. That's the thing. Damn, man. Oh my god. Struck him very harshly. Okay, shielded himself like that. I see. Magic ball? Nah, he's throwing this thing like a Pokeball. You saw that? Pikachu, we choose you. Ooh. Oh, damn. Ugh. Oh, shit. Why was he saying that? He couldn't handle it anymore? Oh, God! Oh, he's trying to take him over again, I see. Oh, that's how he plans to take him out then? Huh? Holy fuck, how does this... Oh, shit. An actual meeting with the witch? How am I supposed to interpret this now, though? So is the battle goose inside of him getting killed? Is that what it is? And Subaru himself gets to live? Oh, shit. You are not the one. Okay, okay, okay. Little tease. Yeah, very reminiscent of Amelia, though. The witch. Damn. Well, you weren't the one, Petal Goose. I'm sorry. You were too slothful. Huh. What is this? A final goodbye gift? Oh, well, yeah. You just buried yourself. Nice. Well. There's your love. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rakuyasuka Ipache. <laughs> yeah, an Italian name always reminded me of Ezio. <笑><笑>すぐ村に戻ろう。あ。フェリスからの連絡だ。問題が発生したよ。隅には全部降ろして、代わりに避難の村人たちを乗せたはずなのに、火の魔石だけが見当たらないんです。オッケー。いや。何
Was it just something they overlooked? Seems like it. <laughs> well, Otto will actually come in handy here, I guess. Well, he's never been bad at that. Oh my god, look at that. Yo, 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 how steep is this? Holy shit. Dude. They literally crashed the fucking bridge. Damn. Mm, Otto just finds it exciting. <laughs> oh god, what are they being chased by now? We already took care of the whale. Come on, man, what could it be? God damn it, what the f Oh my god, okay. Uh, somehow that's related to the witch then, I guess, right? To the... Or to the cult. Well, it's basically the same thing. Oh my god, you're kidding me! This man, Petrus, turned into a living spider. Come on, man. Yeah, there's nothing to fear except for a little bomb beneath you. Oh god, here we go already. All they gotta do is throw one of those things at the cart and I feel like it's blowing up. Oof. <laughs> wow. Promise. Oh, it's a Subaru. Yeah, who, who do you think did? We can't. Oh, shit. <laughs> the pressure got to them. Wow. Yeah. Screw it up. You can never trust kids when it comes to this, though. They are not really too great at keeping secrets. To be fair, grown-ups are neither. <laughs> the last level. <laughs> oh shit. He just desperately needs the love, man. It's kind of sad. Rom-com. Leaving the forest, uh, what are we gonna enter then? Open fields, yeah, great. That'll make things even easier. Man, Battle Goose is seriously misunderstood. He's just doing everything for love. <laughs> Finger guns. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Actually blowing up his head. Holy shit, man. Put the whole damn thing on fire and he doesn't even care. Dude. Petalgoose is completely fucking relentless. He's got nothing else. I mean, he's got nothing to live for. He never lived in the first place, but you get what I'm saying. Oh. Here's a gospel. Wow. <laughs> yep. We got it back. Is he writing something? What, that's part of the gospel? Battle Goose is dead, the holy book says it. Well, now it's gotta be true, right? Damn, man. Wow. Holy shit, I love it. Well. 
He left the behinds, yeah. <laughs> He's making it romantic. I mean, it is kind of romantic. Okay, okay, catching up to it. He's a little nervous about showing himself here, though. Oh man, wow, I was gonna say, he said they are close to the great tree, I'm like, but the tree was taken care of, right? Yeah, it still is taken care of, it still is chopped. Why would he want to still help me? It's understandable that she is like, just entirely oblivious, like, she doesn't understand it. <laughs> oh my god, this epic entrance. Man. <laughs> this could have gone really bad. <laughs> yeah, I already felt like that's what he was going to say. Damn. Always said. And he left again. Beautiful, dude. They, what, they got like a time limit or something? Or how does that work? Well, they can't do any real damage anymore, I guess, right? They're just gonna shadow the tree here. Hey, that tree needed to be cleared up anyway. Oh fuck, just- Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that's causing quite a goddamn blast. Holy shit. Did he, um... Oh, he probably got caught in the blast, right? So what, we, we're not gonna respawn, are we? We better not, because- cause, yeah, there's no way the save point is going to be after what just happened. Oh, shit. Time for uh, one last romantic encounter this season, I think. <laughs> what if he actually uh, dies here, though? Huh. I'm sure he's fine. I mean... Yeah, this is still going to be after. <laughs> I'm laying in a lap again. That's happened before. Nah, don't worry. It never is. That's... Well... Rem had a pretty nice pillow too. <laughs> hmm. Wow, look at the view here, dude. The sunlight, the birds flying by. Uh, I would guess a couple hours at least. Okay, okay. Yeah, you two didn't really get along at first. Last time I saw you, you were fighting in an arena. <laughs> wow, look at him. All high and mighty. We did it for... We, we got together for a greater purpose. Yeah, you just don't remember it. 
俺のことばかりだった君のためって言いながら君のために頑張る自分によってだったはずだ<笑>そうすれば君はそれを受け入れてくれると勝手に思ってた<笑>違うごめんな俺が間違ってたでも間違ってなかったこともある君を助けたい君の力になりたいそれは本気で本当で嘘じゃない Yeah, I know. どうして私を助けてくれるのエミリアが好きだから俺は君の力になりたいんだ。Alright, alright. God, please, please let this be a happy ending for this season for now. I have a feeling like. It could still go in the wrong direction eventually. <laughs> Man, she's letting all the insecurities slip out right now. But he's kind of taking on the REM role. Yeah. Saying you can't do wrong. <laughs> oh man, so sweet. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> this is just gonna keep going on again. As it always does. Man. I don't know, probably just return the same words and uh, at least be happy about it. <laughs> For me, it's already happened, but you can take your time. Yeah. Just allow me to at least stand by your side then. Uh, at least the next couple episodes. Because <laughs> it hasn't happened for a while now. I love this theme as well, man. Yeah, that's the Amelia that he saw early on. That's all this story is about, I guess. Wow, fantastic. Is there going to be some kind of after credit scene? Probably not, right? No, this is where they're going to leave it. That's great. All right, guys. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And of course, you can watch the next 16 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be a link on top of the description. Go and check it out. Yeah, I guess that is what the story is all about in the end, right? It's about love. And <laughs> we saw it there in the final scene. I still do have some kinds of reservations, if that makes sense. Um, because of all the stuff that I talked about in the intro, being like, okay, but we, for example, have not figured out why Subaru was brought to this world in the first place, right? It could have actually have been the witch's doing, and that in a certain way the witch was using Subaru all along to get to Amelia, right? To use her as that vessel, and uh, maybe even Subaru's love for Amelia in the first place is kind of caused by that. Like, it might still be natural love, don't get me wrong. Like, he, he might still... Uh, have naturally fallen in love with Amelia after everything that transpired, basically, right? And the whole journey of this season, and especially early on already, it basically happened there. But still, the whole reason for meeting up with her in the first place could have actually been the witch's doing, right? Um, that's like a little counterpoint that I would want to make, if that makes sense. Something that I feel like the later part of the show could still be delving into. But that being said, it is beautiful to see. And it's beautiful to see Amelia finally come to terms with it as well right and Subaru's not pressuring her in any way like he kind of did early on he's saying like just just accept me at least for who I am and then we'll allow you all the time in the world to uh, eventually start feeling the same way about me right <laughs> which is really nice to see honestly other than that we dealt with Petal Goose of course as well so it's I mean this this was a great season finale it was everything that I kind of expected from it it, it sort of tied up those loose ends and it still 
leaves open, yeah, that, that bigger storyline with, of course, the, uh, the witch, but then also the whole royal, you know, candidate selection. That process is still going to go on, of course. Uh, all the different parties we're going to deal with. But in the meantime, we dealt with basically the major threats um, that we got introduced to in the last 10 episodes or so, right? First, it was the will. It became Petal Goose as well afterwards. Um, those are all dealt with. I love the extra forms that we got of Petal Goose, the way that Julius actually teamed up with Subaru, used his eyes, or used that ability that he, ha that he has of taking over the same senses, right? To actually take it on. Then afterwards, when Subaru realizes, like, oh shit, he's gonna take me over now, telling him that, like, stop using it, or whatever, Necked, I think he calls it, right? Stop using it now. Uh, yeah, all those, the, just the way that they basically uh, allowed that to... Uh, Oh, well, the way that they dealt with that situation was fantastic to me. But also, of course, they had a phase later on and stuff. And the way that Subaru then, um, uh, well, takes care of him in his weird spider form and literally writes in the book, like, this is the end of you or whatever he wrote in there. <laughs> it was like a really clever, creative way to actually take care of him in the end. But also, yeah, I think, well, that was in the initial battle still with, with Julius as well, right? Where, like... Subaru had him sort of meet up with the with the witch there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that because because he used the return. Uh, he talked about the return after death, whatever stuff. Uh, when you know when Battle Goose had taken him over, and that's how he got that meet up with the witch there, who eventually then deemed him not worthy. And that it's interesting because you would figure that like oh that's the thing that kills him, but it actually didn't. It was the whole desperation afterwards because of it that 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 gave him that second form i guess right and like at the very end he literally he, he you kind of felt sorry for him he was just pathetic at that point right like chasing subaru for no reason like he just never figured that the witch would reject him like that it was kind of unfortunate to see but again i mean Petal goose was a character that we just had to deal with and that's what actually happened so yeah honestly i mean it's a nice positive way to end the season like i said it feels um I like these kinds of season finales because, you know, even if, I don't know, like commercially this season wouldn't have perhaps, if it hadn't done well and if there wasn't going to be an opportunity to make a season two, this would have still been satisfying to leave it off at. You get what I'm saying? Um, that being said, of course, we know season two is coming. Season three is coming still as well. Uh, well, season two is already here, I should say, but for me, it's still coming. Season three will be coming as well. So this story is uh, hopefully... I don't know if season three will be like the final season for it because each season definitely has like a quite a number of episodes, I will say. But um, yeah, most likely they're going to be able to round this story off and stuff. And that's going to be great to see. Uh, I can't wait to see where we go from here, guys. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and review to the season finale of ReZero. If you did, then of course, you can watch the next 16 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Your support is very much appreciated and allows me to make these videos in the first place. And then with that being said, I want to thank you all for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.